Hey guys, this is James, and today I'll be having a look at the 22 long rifle versus the 22 Magnum out of a handgun. In this particular case, I have a North American Arms Sidewinder, both in 22 LR and in 22 Mag, with a 2.5 inch barrel. A little bit of a happy medium between the small snub nose barrels that you'll find on many defensive carry guns and the larger ones. So, with that said, let's get started. On your left is the 22 Long Rifle, and on your right is the 22 Magnum. Although the 22 Long Rifle is a much older cartridge than the Magnum, both rounds are 22 caliber rimfire cartridges designed for small game hunting rifles. But just as quickly as each round came out, both found life in handguns. On paper, the 22 Magnum is much more powerful, just by judging how much longer it is and the numbers printed on the box. But that power is coming out of a rifle barrel, and shorter handgun barrels both rounds lose quite a bit of velocity. For punching paper, that isn't important, but both rounds are being chambered in lightweight handguns geared towards the trail and personal defense use, and now the discussion becomes more than just academic. The question should come up, in shorter barrel handguns, is the 22 Magnum really more powerful? And if so, is it enough to make a difference over the 22 long rifle? To get as fair of a comparison as possible, we have two loadings from the same manufacturer, CCI, with the same bullet weights, a non-expanding 40 grain solid. There are more powerful loadings for each cartridge, but I'm going with something that's fairly typical. The 22 LR CCI Mini Mag is running a copper-plated lead bullet at about 1200 feet per second, which is fairly typical for a high velocity loading. The 22 Magnum, on the other hand, is a CCI Maxi Mag and it has a true Femetal jacket and it's running at close to 1900 feet per second. But those numbers are out of rifle length barrels. Let's see how much power they really lose, starting with a trip to the chronograph. Now let's go ahead and get a vague idea of the power behind these two rounds. We got my chronograph set up at 10 feet and we'll be shooting our CCI Mini Mag 22 LR first, take a five shot string, and then the same with the Magnum. Eight eighty seven. Now the 22 Magnum. By the numbers, the 22 Magnum is coming in at an average velocity of 986 feet per second, while the LR is coming in at 911, a difference of 75 feet per second. That may not seem like much, but with velocities this low, that is significant. But there's one caveat that we have to mention now. The 22 LR and 22 Magnum don't have the same bullet diameter. The 22 LR has a .223 inch bullet, while the Magnum has a .224 inch bullet. This can lead to some accuracy issues in guns like mine that have a conversion cylinder that will allow you to shoot 22 LR in a gun built around the Magnum. But when it comes to velocity, there isn't an appreciable difference between this and what we see with dedicated 22 LR and 22 Magnum handguns. But with that said, let's move on to the next test. We have some clear ballistics calibrated 10% gelatin blocks to simulate muscle tissue, and we're backing it up with four layers of denim to simulate clothing. First, the 22 long rifle. Next, the 22 Magnum. Now 
I had some initial trouble connecting where I wanted to, but I got three rounds of CCI mini mags and the gel, where it appears that they dump most of their energy in the first four inches of stretching. But we're not too worried about expansion, uh, but it is worth noting. In any case, they settle back down, stopping at the 8.5 to 10 inch mark. The Magnum, on the other hand, carried its energy further to the 7 inch mark before all three rounds settled down, each of which going to the 13th, 14th, and 15th inch mark. The Magnum's extra power is obvious. So, what's the takeaway of all this? Well, it will just come down to what you carry and why as well as some trade-offs each round has, and we're not going to get into the full detail about this. The 22 Magnum is clearly more powerful, and it's a seeming no-brainer if you want a trail gun that can better deal with smaller predators like coyotes, for example. The same is true if you're shopping for a light, self-defense handgun. But power isn't everything. There are some reasons you might select a 22 long rifle chambered handgun. Over the Magnum, the ammunition and guns are much more prolific and less expensive. And that's just the start. The expense of the Magnum loads can be justified, but there are some issues that affect the particular cartridges. Mostly small details. 22 Magnum shells have a thinner case and they're more easily damaged than long rifle cases, despite being more expensive. And you still have to deal with the occasional dud rounds that come with rimfire ignition. Are these little things enough to justify not going with the Magnum? Not exactly, but only you can make that judgment. Thank you for watching, and this in a video shout out goes to the Classic Woodman. I have a link down below in the description box. If you have some free time, go check him out. I'll see you guys next time.